Mickey sucks. Oh my God, I just realized where this is gonna go. There's a fucking Ranger Dog 911 book, isn't there? God damn it! <laughs> Ranger has never needed his search and rescue training more than when he arrives at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Night attack. Man, I'm getting so many nuts. <laughs> oh, I see you. I love you. That's fucking amazing. Hello, you beautiful bastards. It is go time for Night Attack. We're going to set fire to the motherfucking internet. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF, the Noah K is J-R-Y. Justin Robert Young. What's up? What's up? Justin Robert Young. Name one political anything that's interesting. Ha! You can't. Gotcha. Checkmate. Well, you know, uh, 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 we, we talked a lot in the pre-show about politics. We talked about the results here on a big primary day. We talked about Alex Jones getting arrested for DWI at a local sushi restaurant next to a Chick-fil-A that Brian eats at. <laughs> uh, but, but uh, Brian, uh, look, here's, there's only one thing that really matters these days. Everyone's uh, talking about. Doggone you know. right. They're talking about how, I don't know if you've heard a little thing called South by Southwest. You ever hear that? Used uh, to be. Yeah. Used to be the number one biggest music festival, number one biggest interactive festival, number one uh, biggest media festival. Guess what? First yeah. year. First year we announce the Founders Day Picnic, picnic.scamstuff.com. First mm -hmm. year that we announce that we're going to do a live night attack, that we're going to be joining our friends from Ice Cream Social. The fact that we're going to have our headlining music act, Jomo and the Possum Posse, what happens seconds later, Justin? South by Southwest is so excited. They they that they, they're finally rid of us. They forget to schedule the conference. Well, I mean, they 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 fold. They crumble like a house of cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, canceled. That's I mean, all right. So so there's there there's 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 the jokes, but but also like, is this kind of like disorienting? Like, is this kind of weird as as an Austin local that that it's, now there's not going to be a South by? I'm I'm a little bit dialed in. Like, if you go to the reddit.com slash r slash Austin subreddit, you know, somebody, one of the popular posts was, this is some real monkey paw shit for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> like, how many years have you wished for this? Now you got it. How do you feel? You feel good about this? You proud of yourselves? Because <laughs> that's the, the running joke is that everyone in Austin hates South by Southwest because it makes already unbearable traffic even more unbearable. You you think that you can just pop in and out of downtown. You can't pop in and out of downtown. Things are closed down. Streets are closed. Every, there's no parking anywhere. Uh, now, a lot of open room <laughs> just to explore the space. Did, uh, did you happen to read the official statement from South by Southwest? Because there's a lot to read between the lines on there. Oh, uh, I don't think, I mean, like, if this was reading between the lines, uh, uh, it was like, uh, 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 there was Braille in the... In the, in the, in the <laughs> no, 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 I mean, it's fairly transparent, where it's like, they, 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 they say, uh, City of Austin has canceled this, we're devastated, our, hit, uh, our uh, slogan is, the show must go on, next paragraph, as recently as Wednesday... Austin said, and we quote, there's no evidence that closing South by Southwest will have any benefit. However, it continued. So I, I think between the lines, I guess what I'm guessing is somebody told the city of Austin, hey, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be an explosion of COVID-19 in America, and it can either be hashtag uh, thanks Austin or hashtag thanks somewhere else. <laughs> Which would yeah. you like it to be? And City of Austin said we would like it to be not hashtag thanks Austin. Well, especially since South by is such an asynchronous festival, right? Like it's not just convention center hotel lobbies. There's some of that, right? But even the people considering how expensive it is to get in. They see a couple panels, and 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 that'll be that. Ninety eight percent of the conference is on Sixth Street, and that is kind of by design. Uh, you are doing a lot of day drinking. You're just in a lot of non hygienic situations, the right? A lot of a lot of touching gross bar tops. A lot of just just out there doing things where it's like, in hindsight, you would go back and say, oh well. 
obviously it broke out at South by Southwest. There, there was also um, uh, uh, one tweet. Uh, oh, Doug on it. I'm blanking on the name. Uh, uh, Austin Legend uh, was was saying that uh, concerts are a little bit different because of the noise. If you want to say something to a friend of yours, the only way to do it is to lean in and shout directly in their ears. Andy Langer, yeah. uh, uh, Andy Langer of Texas Monthly. That's who said it. I'm so sorry, Andy, that it took me a moment to access that. Uh, 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 and, and and I thought that was a really good point uh, and maybe contributed to, you know, the the idea that they would be. Among, plus, also, there is the fact that there is a bunch of people pulling out uh, in advance saying like, uh, hey, this sounds like liability with very little upside which uh, was originally the slogan for South by Southwest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're not alone though. Uh, uh, Twitch uh, canceled their Twitch Amsterdam, which I was going to go to. Uh, uh, we were going to get a half price European vacation out of the fact that Ashley had to work it. Now that's not happening. Uh, uh, E3 apparently is going to get canceled tomorrow. Brian, there's just, there's all sorts of these, these things. People are scared. Justin, let me say something. Hmm. I don't know how to say this and not sound like a total asshole, so let me just sound like a total asshole. <laughs> there was a time that I was a regional magician. And then okay. one year I decided to become a national magician. I figured out how to scale down all of my props to only 210 pounds, which was three 70 pound bags. That was enough to fit on a Southwest Airlines flight. And I was uh, suddenly able to travel anywhere in the United States and nobody else was flying. It was very wild. I could go anywhere I wanted and I had three seats to lay across on every single flight. I'm not going to say when this might have been roughly 20 years ago, <laughs> but it feels a lot like those days are back, baby. <laughs> and if you want to go somewhere, <laughs> it seems like it's real affordable. <laughs> <laughs> and that you can go from regional to nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I did. I, I booked a couple tickets. I booked my ticket to to Vegas so I could do. Vegas was cheap. Vegas yeah. was like, you know, SF to, to to Vegas was like a buck ten. Like it was, it was, uh, it was not not much at all. And Austin wasn't uh, uh, wasn't wasn't too expensive either for the Founders Day thing. I, I, uh, but, I, I don't think I'm talking out of school if I was if I was to say that even even before this really exploded, I was able to fly out all three of the ice cream social boys. Uh, and, and what's funny is like I, I'm I, this is a little bit talking out of school. I, I, I reached out I'm like, hey, man, I got you guys flights, all three of you guys round trip to Austin. And then uh, instantly I want to say it was probably Jacob who was first to say, do they include bags? <laughs> and my answer was, do they ever? All bags included flying Southwest Airlines for the three of you round trip. And I got it for, you got to guess? Hey, wait, Bryce, do you have a guess? How much does, does for, it cost? For three tickets? Three round trip tickets three to bring in ice cream social from Vegas. Uh, also non-stops. No, no, no herky-jerky or whatever. My guess would be for all three... Eight hundred and fifty, five hundred four dollars total wow. for all three round trip. A Incredible! And lights are free. That's great. Uh, uh, Jesus yeah, it's Christ. great. But uh, everybody remember, it was Bryce that said that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry about the context or where it came from. Just remember that around this time, Bryce was the one that said that's great. Oh, stop it! <laughs> oh, the fuck off, Mister Nine Eleven, Mister Nine Eleven. Whatever. All right. I, all of a sudden, I want to stop this war. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, at some point, for a friendly audience, let's not do it for anything, anybody else, but just, like, I just want to announce Brian and just, like, say, like, direct from Austin, Texas. You've seen him on The Tonight Show. You've seen him on Night Attack. You've seen him as the star of the modern rogue and scam school. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. 9-11, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide until the bit's over. Okay. <laughs> and scene. All right. Oh, mm. god damn. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Brian, I think we, we would be remiss uh, if we didn't say something about uh, the Founders Day picnic. Where are we at in terms of Dude, uh, we're really the selling good. out? What, what so, is, so 
the the original in uh, man it's weird to pitch a thing and not exactly know where you want it to land uh here's what i know is i know that a hundred excited human beings in a room together cause um a a very exciting good show to be possible and so our original goal was like let's just get a hundred people uh, so at this point, we've already sold out of 100 slots for the Founders Day Picnic. That's picnic.scamstuff.com if you want to join us. We've booked uh, Ice Cream Social. We've already uh, uh, arranged. Uh, we've got Jomo and the Possum Posse playing. We've got uh, I, I, me and Matt are going to do a magic show. And this is the part that I'm most excited about. Uh, 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 Matt and Paul are going to do, I, I, I don't know if they're calling it the Bucket Show or just some version of, of, of them being awesome and improv on the Oh, stage. so it might not be just the Ice Cream Social show. It'll actually be the the... Uh, it might be like the bucket show. Yeah, it, but, but as a matter of fact, uh, ice cream social happens the following morning on oh. on the brunch. Oh, so, the so, so, thing. yeah, yeah. So, so we're working out stuff like uh, turns out that renting uh, a lot of chairs and a lot of uh, uh, tables costs money, but it also turns out that there's a, a events people just up the road from us, which uh, Corey's working on getting everything all worked out for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but but here's the part that I want to dial in on. So uh, uh, we've got I think uh, so so Jomo Night Attack, uh, uh, Magic. Um, uh, bucket show that's that's four shows and then the following day ice cream social which i assume you and i will be guests on I, I, it's not for me to tell them how they run their show but but uh, they can do what they want <laughs> that that'll be the brunch the following day but along the way here's here's what i want to do is like i really want to make this feel like the best corporate picnic you've ever gone to so i've been thinking <laughs> about like what are some dumb yet very approachable games that we could all play, whether it's whether it's cornhole or or giant Jenga or what 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 have you, because because I want to spend money and actually get like a, 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 a cool ass trophies so that it becomes something that people because something with a low buy in. You ever notice that that nobody wants to play one of those games first? They all get pressured into doing it, and then you make it to the second round, third round, fourth round, and all of a sudden you see that trophy and you realize, oh my God, I might win this MF and trophy. Yeah. And then everybody gathers around or whatever. Like, like what are, what are outside of Jenga and, and, and cornhole? Are there any others of those? Uh, I mean, you can get into the, 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 like the drinking game realm of like beer pong or something like that. Right. But I would say that of the, just toss it around and hacky sack maybe, or, or other than that, you're just getting into like, flag football or 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 that we could that do like rep. a treasure hunt ah but then, an easter then, egg hunt an easter egg hunt easter egg hunt because yeah. easter is next week yeah Ooh, then it's the next week that would be a good job to celebrate the the the, the birth of our lord jesus yeah. christ thank yeah. you yeah. The, the, the rebirth he died the yeah no that's yeah but yes <laughs> uh, come on it's all the same thing whatever <laughs> people are saying lawn darts and it's like what's funny uh what is a game without triggering brian's instant auto shutdown panic room response of liability <laughs> terror <laughs> that, that we can come up with uh yeah no write us write us let us know oh bocce ball bocce ball is actually really fun bocce is another... great mm. okay yeah. all right that's really good and you actually could put together like a little makeshift Bocce like, court. Bocce court. With yeah, that. no, yeah. We, we actually have that nice lawn. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll work on that. We'll, we'll see what else uh, anyone has come, come up with. But, yeah, also, just bears, uh, bears saying, if there's any uh, uh, hesitation on anything uh, health-wise, uh, just contact uh, uh, everybody. But we are, we are going to run a super awesome, healthy, amazing, small event. Super awesome, healthy very small, well below the 2,500 uh, really mark. Way below. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Uh, we'll we'll see how we're feeling in that moment, but maybe it'll be a costumed event where we all dress up in in hazmat suits <laughs> just for fun. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in all in all seriousness, obviously this is a smaller thing, so uh, we can be a little bit more granular. Uh, if you have any hesitation at all. Don't worry, everything will be taken care of. Uh, uh, better safe than sorry on 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 any of this. Also, separate issue. Totally, totally divorced from this whole thing. If any of you guys was thinking that the handshake should be replaced with some kind of up and down and left and right and and, and dancing a jig and then people tap feet 
on each other, but never touch it, their hands or faces within like three feet of each other. Uh, uh, I think that would be a great tutorial that you should put out. What's up with you, Justin? <laughs> Uh, uh, dude, I'm so pumped. I'm, I'm so excited to come out and I think this is going to be, uh, this is going to be so awesome. And I don't know, it kind of makes me feel a little, uh, a little, it's like, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to be able to get together in a, in a world where obviously for these mega events, people are taking the extreme levels of precaution. I feel like there's, there ain't nothing wrong with a bunch of friends getting together and, and that's what's going to happen in, in, in a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm fucking so pumped for it. Yeah, well, and what's funny is quite literally the solution is, well, uh, if what you want to fix is a transmission of a megavirus, then the solution is instead of doing gigantic events, you should do more small events. Guess what's a small event? In invite only. <laughs> Super well, private. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's the thing is, is uh, it's just, this is, uh, for a lot of reasons, this was kind of, I feel like, fate, right? Because we didn't book a South by show this year. We decided to do our own thing. Uh, this is not as big as you probably could have sold it, right? Like, we could have, there, there's there's a world in which we're like, no, nah, fuck it. Let's try to sell as many tickets as we can, and we'll figure out the space. We'll figure out the venue as we go along. And instead, it was like, nah, let's. Let's just make sure that we don't fire festival ourselves and let's cap it to something much smaller. It's like for every decision that was made, like a, a, a buzzsaw like came over, like we picked up a penny from the ground and, 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 a, and a buzzsaw <laughs> came over our heads. Uh, uh, and so it just it feels like something that when the tales are told years and years and years down the road, uh, it will it will be known that it was blessed by by the gods. Yeah, and to be clear, we got plenty of runway for us to fuck this up, man. We could fire festival the fuck out of this. Don't don't count Good. us out yet. We're gonna exactly. try to screw this up. But in the meantime, uh, two as a matter of fact, two thousand two hundred more tickets have just gone on sale. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, uh, we just, uh, announced the, uh, the discord server so that people could ar arrange where everybody's going to stay and stuff. I mean, it's like, it feels like we, we slow rolled this. This is the first year. Don't worry. There'll be future years or whatever, but for the first year, feel really good about how everything's gone. Uh, hell yeah. I'll tell you what I feel good about Brian. And that is patreon.com slash night attack. Patreon.com slash night attack is where you can support this very show and all the endeavors that go on around it. Head on over there right now. Patreon.com slash night attack. Kick in the uh, buck, five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever you want. You're going to get discord access. You're going to get your own RSS feed. Throw it in the podcast player of your own choosing. You get the pre-show early and this is a banger of a pre-show this week too How god damn right coach? god damn right we talk some really real talk man normally we talk fake talk we talk real talk this time and i'll tell you the realest of talk is that we love shouting out the new pledgers or those people who up their pledge with a little thing that we like to call ladies and gentlemen it's time for the night attack new patreon name chant corner hour Hour of <laughs> this, of course, is the part where we grab one of you beautiful bastards and randomly call, call out your name in the hopes of upsetting your daily routine and confusing the entire <laughs> world. And I don't know what you're doing, man. I'm going to jump right to the, uh, the chase. Hey, man, stop ordering that sandwich. Stop, stop telling that person at Subway what to do and listen to me, Devin. 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 Devin, you did a very awesome thing, and you should know it, Devin. That's right, we're talking to you, Devin. Devin, 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 Devin. You think you're the patron of us? Well, we're the patron. You are our patron. We love you, Devin. Thank you. Thank you, Devin. 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 Brian, what we also like to do here on the show is uh, we like to tell a story. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, everybody uh, for one minute. Uh, it's a story, and it's uh, something that legitimately happened, and it's certainly not people who are 
uh, donating on our live stream, twitch.tv slash night attack here every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So, Brian, why don't you go ahead and tell the story? Uh, yes. Well, as the ancient Romans com called it, uh, the format of this is Elix Perth, and it begins, as always, with a blue front rolling over the country. Oh, uh, I, I, and a stoic squirrel looks up at the blue front. Sorry, I thought we were going back to trading off. It doesn't matter. Look, I see you, Justin. I see you <laughs> judging me because you know that I'm the one that changed the entire format. I remember in that phone call, you said, what are you, some kind of Captain Jack 913? You don't go changing the whole format. The format as we go back and forth. And I said, look, man, Neil Fly said, hey, man, why don't you mix it up? Why don't you take turns with each of you telling the entire story entirely on your own as a stream of consciousness experiment? And I said, let me grab this Crisco 762, rub it on your butthole, and take you from behind. And he said, I ain't your man, Jeff. One, don't do that. Number two, <laughs> you never ask for consent. Number three, I think I was right, and that is how you should do it from now on. I said, damn, Wally, damned if you didn't convince me. Thank you very much, man. That escalated. That did. That went places. At least it didn't touch on 9-11 again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I yeah. Your words, not oh. mine. <laughs> also, congratulations to our uh, bit boss. Uh, Tomadonna. Tomadonna, who was our bit boss uh, here in the first half of the show. Hot damn. Thank you very much, Tomadonna. Uh, hey, J uh, Justin, I'm, I'm, I'm deaf in, in one ear. I'm half deaf. I'm half deaf. Why? Well, why did uh, you go deaf, Bri? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, look, I. I <laughs> Yeah, that sounds wait, what are you what are you victim blaming here? What's going on? I, I'm just saying I, I happen to be half deaf in one ear right now. Who knows why? Oh, okay. Well, because I, I, I never knew you. I just never knew you to be half deaf in in, in one year in one ear. I, I, I know you to be fully deaf, D E F, right? Like <laughs> like that you are that uh, you are somebody that has much swag, but uh, I, I never knew you to be half deaf. Uh, I was just curious as I to mean, why. I mean, let, let me just say that anybody who's a patron of the Modern Rogue is gonna be able to see the the full story. My God, it's 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 fucked up. Uh, a loud thing happened uh, on on Modern Rogue, and it's definitely forty eight hours later, and I'm definitely hearing twice as well in one ear and and less than twice as well. You described it as eighty percent. Yeah, not fifty percent. Yeah, well, I is mean, there, my, is it really that? Oy. If my ears had individual feelings, and they do, then one of them would say that emotionally, one of them feels half deaf compared to the other. That's that's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Half D E F. Yes, half deaf, half invited yeah. to the HBO comedy jam. The other half yeah. very much not invited. Just sort of like, oof. Uh, I don't know if you're right for this. Well, I'll tell you what uh, is going to be music to every uh, listener's ears, and that is the dulcet tones of Meryl Barr, who joins us. Woo! I'm here. I made it tonight, Tack. I, 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 I'm not going to lie, Meryl. There's part of me that enjoyed you. I, look, I, we love you. You're great on Chord Killers. We love all the articles you write. We love all of your talents for all the, the way, amazing reasons. Let me get you out for a second. Happy one-year anniversary to the infamous article. Oh my God! Was it one year ago that one you wrote? One year and one week ago was the Forbes Modern Rogue article, which is, and I feel like the greatest way to celebrate that is to say, Forbes kicked me off the platform at the end of February. God damn it! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, uh, I, I, we have a special gift, man. Look, if you, if you they allowed you to go rogue, congratulations, sir. <laughs> exactly, and and in celebration, Brian's jettisoned twenty five percent of his hearing. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Meryl Barr, uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is sort of really your second appearance because you helped create. What was the previous game that we did? Uh, Pluto or Pluno. That's was right. The game. Pluto or Pluno. Um, uh, I'm not going to lie. This is the episode where we find out whether I enjoy it better with you live here with us or with you just in the chat <laughs> where we can talk over <laughs> you. <laughs> because that is that is one of your will, unique talents. Hey, no I want to I want to make no it clear. No pressure, Meryl. No pressure. <laughs> I, but part. I want to I want to make it clear. That was not that was half my game. <laughs> I submitted a version of the game that was more true false and Bryce took it upon himself to rewrite the game and made it way too easy and you guys Whoa! won the game. <laughs> uh, by the way, no no no. This is a new Whoa! This is a new character Meryl <laughs> is trying on called Every writer of a Marvel movie. That's the new character he's doing. 
<laughs> where he says, Meryl, Meryl uh, strolled in from the chat room, cut Brian off in the first minute that he was talking, and then just totally torpedoed Bryce in the second <laughs> thing he said. So, number one, I'm watching my back. And number two, Meryl has not come here to play around. <laughs> All right, so 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 what are we playing? Is this is this one of your creation, or are you gonna are you gonna criticize Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> no, we are uh, uh, we're playing a new game. Uh, this was sent in by Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. This is a new game uh, called the 2020 Political Porn Primary. Yes. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, before we start, everybody, please just uh, uh, we need to to stand for the national anthem. Yes. Please rise for our national anthem. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so uh, this is uh, the 2020 uh, political porn primary. Uh, Joe sent this in. This is going to be uh, a series of games uh, that have polled the nation and the world about what turns voters on. Thank you again, Joe, for sending in the idea. I did rewrite a lot of this. Meryl, comma, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we tabulated these uh, results from Pornhub today, March 10, 2020. Uh, so here's how the game goes. We're going to play in rounds. Uh, the first round uh, is uh, our viability. Sorry, round. I, I, you said they were going to play in pounds. That's right. We're going to be playing in pounds. <clears throat> uh, so first off, we have to clear the stage. It's political season right now. The pro the, the Democratic primaries are happening right now. Uh, we need to clear the stage. Uh, we 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 need, to at, make, we need to make clear the age. Go ahead. Uh, we looked at over thirty five terms in the writing of this game, and so we have to take a tally of who is viable uh, in this political porn primary. So each round, all of you. Uh, will be given a single search term, and you have to guess how many Pornhub videos were returned for each term without going over. Uh, if you guys are over, you guys will re-guess. The winner will get a point. Uh, Got it. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so our pretty sleazy. Pretty sleazy. I, mean, I, I, I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm sorry. Justin, you've got to stop me because I will not. I have no self-control. Uh, uh, much, like, much like I'm assuming must, uh, most of the subject matter in this game, I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's our first candidate. The first candidate search term we had was mayor. So we're going to start with Brian. Mm. How many uh, Pornhub videos were returned for the search term mayor? Ooh, now I know some of you guys are going to think that they're talking about the political office, but I'm going to, is it, is it, uh, isn't, what, what, what is mayor for in Spanish? Um, May, oh, that's Amy J. Mejor. Mejor. That's 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 that's, 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 that's bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Right. Because because I feel like bigger would be fairly popular. Spelled with a J, I believe. So, so you're going. So you're betting on illiter <laughs> illiteracy. Illiteracy. Yes. <laughs> Illiter illiterate. Uh, yes. Uh, illiterate Latin Americans. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, how many porn? Uh, I'll I'll, I'll say seven thousand. <laughs> 922. Not so chasing anymore for the mayor board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brian, you say 7,922 videos. Correct, correct. For the term mayor. All right, yes. Justin, uh, what about you? Remember, this is closest without going over. I mean, you got to assume that there's at least a couple dozen McCheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Side bet. I'll give you 20 bucks if there's one Pornhub video that is legitimately themed around a cosplay with Mayor McCheese. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like, specifically, yeah. you type in Mayor McCheese, and it has to be somebody, like, acting like they're Mayor McCheese, or Mayor McCheese has to be directly involved. It could be it could be as small as, like, a, like I'm sorry, I'm your press agent, and Mayor McCheese is in some real uh, trouble. Dude, Mayor McCheese is going to be fucking turning Grimace's ass red. That's what's going to be happening. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, Justin, it's up to you. Say, I'm going to say uh, 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 300. I'm going to say 300. All right, Meryl, how many videos were returned for the term mayor? I, I'm convinced Justin is not over. I think Brian might be over. So play it safe. I'm going to go with 100 because I think Brian's over. But I'm gonna go, no, wait, what did Justin say? Justin said I said three. I said 300. 300? I'm going to go 400. All right, Meryl's going to say 400. Uh, folks, you're all over. We're going to need you to. Oh, wait, no. No, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Bah, bah, bah. We've got a correct answer. The term mayor returns. Bah, 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 bah. 354 results. Oh, no! Wow. That is a point for Justin. Excuse me. Wow. Excuse me.
Oh, wait. Oh, oh, because he went over. Because he went over. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Meryl that's right. was over. No, that's you right. did good. You did good. Good job. That's a point for Justin. All right, let's go to round two. All right, somebody who's going, who's looking for cheese boards? <sighs> yeah, I could not go. find any on a cursory glance. Once. Hold on. Can, can I? Uh, God, uh, uh -oh. let me open incognito mode. I could not find any on a cursory <laughs> glance. Justin, we'll start with you on this one. Candidate number yeah. two, the search term is Tulsi. T U L S I. Tulsi. Oh, man. I wonder if this is like, you know, porn people tend to have names, especially first names or uh, that are evocative of other celebrities. Tulsi does fit into the like uh, uh, of E ending with E, the E sound name that, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, porn stars would go by. So I don't think a lot of it's Gabbard related porn, although there might be the cheeky devils. I'm going to say 177. 177. All right. Yeah, for the Justin. record, also, I'm looking at this whole front page of Mayor, and there's only one of these that has to do with the political office, and it is a, a, a comic book uh, that is uh, uh, the mayor. This is why we go through the political porn process, mm. Brian. The political porn Explain primary process. Explain to me what process. the mayor has to do with big stepmom hard anal fucked by her small stepson. Not in mixed company. I he don't. is tiny, though, compared to her. Now that I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meryl. <laughs> Greatest twerking competition. Like, uh, he does look like he has a political promise. Like, <laughs> All right, Meryl, uh, we're looking for you. Uh, how many results do you think Tulsi returned on Pornhub? Oh, I picked the hell of a night to come on my attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, man. Oh, so Justin said like 150 ish, right? 177. 177. 177. I don't know if it's that much higher than that. Let's go with 250. I'm going to say 250. All right, Brian. Look, man, I'm the only one doing original research here, and I'm not seeing, of, of all the returns for mayor, very few of them had to do with political office. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, uh, you said 250? Mm -hmm. I'll say 255. 255 says Brian. All right, uh, contestants, you're all over. Gonna need a quick round of re answers, starting with Justin. Uh, the lowest was 177, and everybody was over 69, baby. Nine. Very funny number. All right, Meryl 68. 68. <laughs> Significantly less I funny. Too, I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go seventy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone is over yet again. <laughs> the last round of re-guessing, Justin. Sixty-eight was our previous uh, lowest. Uh, twenty-three. Swish. 23, swish. All right. Uh, Meryl? 50. 55, zero. Brian Brushwood? 12, because that's one person enjoying half of a 69. Think, think about it. Like, they're standing and then... All right, all right. Okay, yeah. The, uh, you see, mm, you, you, mm, right, right? Mm, On the knees? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I see, all right. okay. Right. All right, the answer that we were looking for was... 16! 14! Yeah. That's a point for Brian Brushwood. <laughs> math is hard, people. This is a political process. The math is not easy. Uh, we're looking for uh, 14. But, but, by the way, I, I, I'm not going to say what the 1 is doing, but the 4 is, is like this. Like, uh, he's uh, kind of right? doing a squat. Right? Doing kind yeah, of a squat. With the hands on the knees, that, right? No, yeah. It's a 14. Okay. I'm, I'm, I don't I'm just saying. That's a 14, right. but I'm not good at math. <laughs> we're going to clip that one. All right. Uh, round three, we're going to start with you. Meryl, the candidate's term is Marianne, M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E, Marianne. Okay. So Marianne is definitely a porn star's name somewhere. I'm sure of it. So there's going to be a higher number of results. Let's go with 1,000. Going to go with 1,000. All right. Brian Brushwood, Marianne. Uh, uh, can I do a, a phone a friend here? Um, J Justin, what is the political context of a Marianne? That's Marianne Williamson. Uh, uh, she ran uh, for president and, and dropped out, but uh, endorsed Bernie Sanders. Actually had a rally in Austin. Uh, she is known for her love of crystals and her positive mental energy. Her nickname is Orb Mommy. 
I forgot about that. I forgot about the orb mommy. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, it's, every word you said made me up my my number of estimate. Uh, I, I, now, I, I think uh, uh, from what people were saying in the chat, apparently Tulsi are actual clips of Tulsi Gabbard that just happened to be uploaded to Pornhub. Uh, Marianne would be, that's a different, uh, uh, I mean, Marianne's a lot more common name than, than Tulsi is. Um, I will say, uh, 123. 123. Uh, easy as you and me. All right. And Justin. Marianne. I think it's going to be over that. I think it's going to be 316. When you hear the glass, it's your ass. <laughs> All right. 316. Uh, <laughs> Good old John 316. Can't go wrong. Come on. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he sent Marianne to take a hard double penetration from two stepbrothers. <laughs> uh, right. The uh, results are in, and the r number of videos returned is bum, 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 185. That's a point for Brian Brushwood. Ooh, 185. Boom. Look at that. All right. We have one last round uh, in this uh, in this viability round of the game. Uh, this is candidate four. The search term is Warren. And Brian, we're going to start with you. Warren. W A R R E N. Oh, yeah. yeah. 22. It says 22. And two, two. all of them misspelled the word warrant. <laughs> oh, warrant. Huh? They're like, they're like uh, all of them are like, uh, sheriff serves Warren to criminal. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that classic trope. Yes. All right. Uh, Justin, uh, the term warrant. Look, I'm sorry. If it was up to me, I'd just let you leave town, but I'm afraid I have to serve you this Warren. I mean, you gotta wonder how many of these uploads is literally just the SNL video re-uploaded that. that yeah, video. yeah. I just flipped a switch, and it says that there's 101 Warren videos. Dustin says one zero one. All right, Meryl, we're looking for the term Warren. Um, go with 200. He's gonna go with 200. All right. The results are in, and Warren returns. 141 terms. That's a point for Justin Robert. Yeah. Yeah. I got a plan for that. And it means I'm taking this point, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting mass kicked in this game, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Johnny paying for it. No, I'm... Fucking Johnny No Jerks over here. <laughs> Johnny no what's going jerks. on on P-Hub. How's it feel to come in your sleep at night? You enjoy your dreams? The I rest do. of us come like normal people, jerking off to online porn, am I right? High five, don't touch me. Hi, hi Elbow. Before Hi, COVID-19. <laughs> All right. COVID-69. The current score is Brian has two points, Justin has two points, Meryl's oh yet to score. Oh, my God, I see you. Big sustainable butthole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. Uh, structural, big structural, big structural bottle. <laughs> big structural bottle. <laughs> it's time for round two, the hard <laughs> pressing issues. Goddamn right. We've taken to the streets, and now it's time to take it to the sheets. <laughs> By the way, this is a great game. This each, is a great game. Each Just... round, you guys are going to be given two search terms, and all three of you will guess which term returned more videos on Pornhub. Those who get it right will get a point. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. Justin, we're going to start with you here. Uh, the two terms in this issue one, caucus and basic income. <laughs> caucus <laughs> and basic <laughs> income. <laughs> All right. Technical question. Is that basic income in quotes or is it basic income in that it just needs to be a title with basic and income in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you are you're wondering how many titles have basic bitch in them. I am I'm way ahead of you and I yeah, thought the I same mean, thing. Like, yeah. I, I could see the title basic bitch. Basic bitch, bitch uh, needs uh, income. Uh, yeah. And sucks off stepdad yeah. for uh, income or yeah. whatever, but like uh, -huh. uh yeah, but in in the full interest of transparency, uh none of these were re returned using quotation marks or any special right. search terms like that. It is as was a uh, basic income. Uh, gonna... I am going to say basic income then. All right. Justin's going to say basic income. Uh, you Mer know what? Let, let, let me dive a little bit deeper. Uh, just to be clear, income is all one word. It's not basic bitch income. Yes. Correct. It's, okay. Uh, the word is, uh, I, uh, is okay. intact. Okay. So income one word. Uh, Meryl, uh, we're going to go with you in round. Are you going to say caucus or basic income returned more videos? I'm going to I have to back Justin's plan. The basic income, I mean, just the, the word basic would have returned. Basic income, all right. 
and Brian. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go caucus. I I, I think there's a lot of people. Uh, how could I put this? Um, there's there's people with whom I disagree who would prefer that they see sex in the caucuses from the caucus mountains. <laughs> it's, it's white supremacy. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, Ew, that's my pick. It's uh, caucus right. because of white supremacy. Yeah. Wow. No, that's right. I went there. That's went there. I call the world the way I see it. I'm sorry, Justin. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, the results are filled in. with bad people. Caucus returned three votes. Basic income <laughs> returned five hundred and three. Justin I'm and Meryl get the board. point. Uh, Meryl's on the board. That's right. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of electoral votes. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of delegates. <laughs> the rest went to the Libertarian and the Green Party. <laughs> All right, we started with Justin last time. Meryl, we're going to start with you this time on issue number two. I would bet you that the caucus videos are one of those, like, they'll do the the the, the joke ones where it'll be, like, the, the results from the 2016 primary, and it's, like, Bernie Sanders gets fucked by entire Democratic Party or whatever. Hold on. Uh, you know what? Uh, 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 live on the, the uh, scene, uh, we've got Cub Reporter, uh, Brian Brushwood, C-A-U-C-U-S. Cub Reporter. C-A-U-S. Uh, oh, Jesus. Cost, cost. I didn't know. I guess he's uh, really giving up on that exercise plan, huh? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, I uh, thought you were shooting otter, but. Like... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Actually, this is interesting. We have, there, there are three. Um, there is one that appears to be like, uh, imagine a Twitch stream. It's, it's 60 minutes long, and it looks like a news report titled Political Porno Coin Flip Caucus Coronavirus. And uh, it was released um, uh, uh, fairly recently, 1.3 thousand views. So, I mean, topical. There's another one, a dude talking into a camera, giving his opinion, op-ed, colon, Democrats, new candidate, comma, debate and caucus. So, again, somebody using the Pornhub pl- uh, uh, platform. Mm-hmm. Uh, third, my caucus peniscus and a white carpet. It's a dude jerking off on a carpet. Oh. Uh-uh. Mm. You learn something is new a, every day. Is it a white carpet? Is I don't know. Let me watch. It's a yes, yeah, white carpet. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, at least it won't stain. Definitely, yeah. No, that's. Uh, and when you search basic income, the top two votes are are the top two videos are an Andrew Yang clip <laughs> and Andrew Yang on the on uh, I think that's the Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan podcast. Joe. Yeah. All right, let's go into uh, issue number two. We just did caucus and basic income. Issue, issue two, and we'll start with you, Meryl. The terms are cock us and basically come. <laughs> That's C-O-C-K-U-S and basically come, C-U-M. Okay. All right, so the real question is, because of the way these searches were set up, is did cock return more results or did come return more results is really the question. Question I ask every day, Meryl. <laughs> i would love i would love to see just a seven second short film of bryce waking up sitting up straight tilting his head <laughs> and having that thought i just, I just want to know what it, what that search would be in the like peewee's big adventure world where everything's automated and like you know the eggs are cracking automatically and he's you know just like you know, doing his normal stuff and Finding out exactly what what's drawing more attention these days. Oh man! All right, I'm gonna go with basically come. I'm go with basically come. All right, Brian, cock us. Oh or my god, man! Uh, uh, cock us, cock us, cock us, cock us. Okay, and Justin. Oh, there's no fucking question. This is definitely cock us. Uh, uh, there's cock is written a lot in these titles. Us is written a lot more than the word basically. I don't think that I've ever seen the word basically written also, in a porn up. The, the, there is the dispute about the proper spelling of come, depending depending on your generational divide. Oh, C O M E. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. old people's fa- not me, but other old people. Fine. There you go. He's I would furiously never. deleting oh. his search history. Just I, I would yeah. spell it K U M and go like the store. Or like the gas station. Yeah. All right. Like the Iowa gas station. <laughs> the results are in. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Cock Us brought in 2058. Basically, Come brought in 1057. Ooh, that's so much closer. Uh, I, that's, I, those two are practically simultaneous, uh, is how close they are. That's amazing. We swear this never happened. <laughs> I mean, it always happens. Wait, which is the bad one in this? 
<laughs> don't we don't want to we don't want to stretch the, the the theme very it was hard just right. a lot closer yeah no don't issue. you're right don't stretch the we don't want to we don't want to poke this one too hard all, all right. right issue what? number three uh center and progressive yeah. center and progressive of course uh uh, a major stance uh major stances in the uh on the uh democratic party brian center or progressive progressive i wonder if it's not like um those cock hero videos where it gets progressively harder like uh cock hero yeah you ever see the the cock hero are you uh -huh. guys familiar with this uh, 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 it's very, uh, that, that's some good stone faces on the other two guys. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's quite literally rock band only for jerking off. Uh, it, it, oh, right? I think I have heard of that. Yeah. It's just like you, you have to pump, uh, according to the rhythm that it gets faster and slower or progressively harder, so to speak. And it's like you, you try to edge to the end. Um, but I don't think I don't think that's very popular given given this focus group of four, uh, foreskin. Uh, what was what is center center is center. center or progressive? So yeah, Brian's yeah. gonna say center. Chick in the center is getting it in all holes. All right, Justin. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> uh, no, that's, we're okay, gonna got it. Uh, 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 yeah, no, Bukakis. Yeah, center. There's, there's a lot more, <laughs> lot more centering. Right. Progressive <laughs> slots. That's what it is. It's a reference to, to the Vegas term. <laughs> Meryl, we're looking for a center or progressive. Center, Which one center. got it? It's center. Like, there's no way it's not. Uh, hey, man looking for a job. Uh, what's your answer for this game that you uh, lifted? <laughs> all right. The results are in. And all of you are... You're fired. Get out of here. Fired. 430 wow. center to 433 progressive. Wow. So, Holy shit. Wait. So we should have said uh, tie? I, I said center. Should have, should have said progressive because you were wrong. Oh, that's right. Yeah. These no, numbers are different, Brian. Okay. No, you're right. <laughs> not I wasn't listening to the other people. I was just Look, I was, I was distracted said, by. Math is hard. That's. Yeah. Math is hard. Sure. Political math is. No, but it's cock hero is what you search for if you want to see that. Cock hero. Yeah. I'll be sure to write that down. Pretty sure they're all bootleg too. I'm I'm pretty sure they're not given. Do you like see like the lanes? Cut. Do you see like the the note highway like you would in Guitar Hero? You do. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> yes, you thought I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, issue four, and we're gonna start with uh, oh, Brian Jesus in this one. Christ! <laughs> uh, the first issue, uh, either Roblox R O B O R O B L O X or RuneScape. As the father of three daughters, a uh, full recusal. I'll take the L on this one. Gentlemen, you guys go on the record picking one or the other. All right, Brian is abstained from this round. That's right. Abstinence. It's the only safe choice <laughs> in this face-to-face -face off. <laughs> what is Roblox? Oh, Christ. Uh, so Roblox is um, <laughs> it's a free online it's, multiplayer it's, game for the kids. But uh, it's, it's bootleg Minecraft is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, okay. And RuneScape, of course, is the classic uh, online multiplayer yeah. game. All right, so Brian is abstained to Justin. Roblox or RuneScape? Oh, yeah. Roblox, 100%. Roblox. Justin says Roblox and... But RuneScape has been around 20 years longer. Though. That's See, that's what I'm... Cause Long enough for p people to become perverse and broken over it. Right? Well, more than that, RuneScape's had a lo um, longer amount of time to have parodies made of it, like porn parodies made of it, that mm. could be on Pornhub right now. Whereas I don't know how necessarily new Roblox is, but I could also see a world where people are just uploading Roblox videos to Pornhub and just because they're there. Um, this is hard. Fuck. All right. Um, all right. I'm going RuneScape. Oh, you know what? Some, somebody is pointing point, out. RuneScape. Somebody is pointing out that RuneScape could mean run escape, which which would be a, a genre. Oh. I'm going RuneScape. I'm going to try and get that point. Okay. Uh, Meryl has said RuneScape. Justin has said Roblox. Brian has uh, uh, abstained from this. It's the only the safe way. It's the only proven way to definitely not get pregnant. Uh, Ro uh, RuneScape had 123 videos. Roblox had 1,144. Roblox takes it. Holy shit. Right. Yeah, baby. Uh, there's I was going to say. Oh, yeah, because that's something that's always really, really popular on Pornhub. Things that are 20 years past their prime. <laughs> yeah, people love that shit. There's a, there's My kind game of a... theory did not work on that at all. 
kind of a whole CG like thing going for theory. Roblox. Uh, some, of, some of the RuneScape ones included getting a blowjob while slaying on RuneScape and roommate <laughs> eats my ass while I play old school RuneScape. Uh, yeah, these are all definitely in-game pornographies. Yeah, the uh, Roblox ones are all CG. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, who did we start with on that last one? I think we started with Brian on the last one. Justin, I, I, we'll start I knew with you. just finished on all of us. It's just Robert Young. <laughs> Go ahead. You were saying? Issue five, our two terms are senile and penile. <laughs> <laughs> senile and penile <laughs> senile uh, and penile uh, uh, oh. Oh. I mean fuck it it's Biden's night penile <laughs> he says alright Justin says senile Merrill senile or penile, penile. Penile. It's got to be penile. <laughs> I mean, I swear to God, I can only handle two massive upsets in one night. <laughs> so just to be clear, Meryl, you said p penile, correct? Yes. Okay, and so did Brian. All right. Yep. Uh, in issue five, uh, senile got 13 results. Penile got 46. It's How penile. Only 46? Wow. 46. It's literally Who penile. Who says penile, though? Um, like, like nobody, nobody in, in, in the context of that website is saying penile. Man, that's a really good question. I, I'm going to send I, cub reporter Brian Brushwood. Yeah, <laughs> a bear reporter Brian Brushwood will go and take a look at uh, Pornhub.com. I'm afraid to know uh, what the you know what's funny? Penile, I started to type Pornhub, but I got confused. And I wrote porn bum, which I'm afraid to see <laughs> which comes up. It just takes you to Pornhub.co.uk. <laughs> uh, it, it's, 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 it, 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 it's the super sexy turn the bum fights videos took. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, um, oh, oh, here we go. Penile exam ASMR part two. Oh, so that's two of them. Um, uh, that's pretty much everything else. It's not really yeah. in the name. Godfather 2-esque in being able to elevate the story. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, nope, that was the only on-point one. That was it. Okay. Uh, let's go to our last issue of this round. We'll start with Merrill on this one. The two terms are tuition and insurance. <laughs> tuition and insurance. Okay. okay, I'm going tuition. It's because it's like, it's be like, you know, fuck my stepfather for tuition. Like, it's, it's tu I gotta go with tuition. All right, Meryl says tuition. Brian, tuition or insurance? I, I, I think tuition's right, but I just want to believe that I live in a world where people are responsible enough to say, like, you know, fuck my insurance adjuster to get a lower rate. <laughs> so I'm going to go insurance. He's going to go insurance. All right. And Justin, tuition or insurance? I actually think this is closer than than one might assume, because I do think that that is a genre. A, uh, it seems oh, like shit. The, like, insurance adjuster, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Insurance adjuster to, to uh, pass inspection or something like that. Uh, that being said, people be fucking for tuition. Like that's that's really that's that's where the that's where the money is. I'm going tuition for the kids. For the. <laughs> You were doing really good until then, it Justin. <laughs> then suddenly oh, it became sorry. a very clippable I'm moment. I'm sorry. I, I offended the, the, the delicate sensibilities of Mr. 9-11, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. So sorry. <laughs> the results are in. It was a quiet, beautiful day. Uh, look at that sky, what I say. Never mind. Insurance uh, returned 95 results. Tuition returned 120. No, 135. That's going to be Justin and Merrill point. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, yes, uh, one of the top ones for insurance is fucked my insurance lady for a good deal on my policy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the uh, at the scoreboard here and figure out who's nailed it so far. Uh, let's see. Brian's got one, two, three, four points. Justin's got four, five, six points. And Meryl's on the board with three. It's still anybody's game as we go into round three, the convention. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Finally, it's time. We got on this one, Bryce. I was inspired. Finally, it's time. The Democratic National Convention. The key strategy in any good convention is to swallow up the smallest candidates until your number of delegates is ready to bust a nut up in this country. <laughs> I'm so glad Bonnie did 
didn't come tonight. I take it back, Bryce. You, Bryce, this, I officially absolve you of botching my game because this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. The title in this in, in the title like in, the, in this PowerPoint says "come" is also a sex word. It is. Should I have rewritten it C O M E for you, Brian? Nope, nope. Okay. Uh, I ain't that old. I'm I'm went down with the youngs. Wait, no, hold on, but not two youngs. I'm down with the middle. I, I have often, I have often thought, man, you know, Bryce is such a, a tremendous creative person. I just want to get him more and more involved in the show. I want him to put more of his mark on here. And it is at this moment on March 10th, 2020, for which I say, good. We've had. <laughs> At this point, we stop. In fact, we might want to roll it back five degrees. Okay. Well, uh, I will take that note. I've heard the note. I will take it, and I accept it. Uh, we'll move on. We're so, here uh, now. We're here we're now. Here we now. Go he accepts your point graciously. Thank you. The, and the enti- more, Not just the entire point, the meaning behind it, too. Not just the tip. Uh, all right. So I'm going to give you a pool. I'm going to give you a pool of search terms, a, a list of search Jesus. terms. Don't fucking brag. <laughs> I'm going to give you a list of search terms. Uh, we will go in round, and it is uh, it, uh, when it's your turn, you will try to find the the term with the least amount of videos returned. You're trying to swallow up the Golf delegate. Rules. Uh, yeah, you're trying to absorb the the smaller uh, candidates. Prude golf rules. Uh, that's right. So you're looking for the smallest amount. If you find one, uh, you will get that number of videos added to your score, uh, and you'll get a second. Uh, you'll get a chance to go again, uh, and we will remove the word. So you're always looking for the smallest word. At the end of the round, the player with the highest number of delegates is our nominee. It's so simple, a barely legal person could do it. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start with uh, we'll start with Meryl since Meryl's uh, uh, in uh, is trailing a little bit here. The pool of candidates here in the convention are Bernie, Biden, Praxis, President, Democrat, Left, and Minecraft. And I want to know which one returned the least amount. Yeah, you're looking for the uh, the least popular candidates to uh, swallow uh, by your own candidacy. All right, well, if I'm going top down, Minecraft would definitely be first, so that's out. Um, president definitely will, Democrat left. That really leaves, I really think it's down to Biden or Praxis. I'm going to take a, all right, uh, let's go with Biden. Let's try it. Your answer of Biden is correct. Biden returned eight videos. Yeah. That's the lowest out of all of them? That was the lowest out of all of them, wow. including Caramel Biden Giantess and Billionaire Mayor Gets Gang Banged by a Group of Politicians Led yet. by Cougar. Wow. <laughs> so the only thing less popular than a Democrat by the way, by, for, is for, Biden. For everybody, yeah, for everybody who's just watching right now, uh, the, the, the thumbnail on that is Michael Bloomberg at the debate where he got destroyed and his half-billion-dollar campaign ended in one night. <laughs> right next to a <laughs> thumbnail of a toe... <laughs> Of a foot. First, by the way, I, sh- I want to point out, Justin, I've been listening to politics, politics, politics ever since I got into Raise the Dead. Mm-hmm. And you're listening to you gleefully break down the Biden spend. I'm sorry, the Bloomberg spend on his campaign. <laughs> Look, I got, was just I, joyful. I, I have I have a lot of I have a lot of patience in politics. Uh, his campaign <laughs> did not fall under that umbrella policy. And I was very happy to see it go away in hilarious fashion. All right. Uh, because you got that, Meryl, you also get to uh, crack at the next one. Our remaining candidates are Bernie, Praxis, President, Democrat, Left, and Minecraft. What is the uh, least popular term out of this list? Well, let's, let's try Praxis. I have a feeling that's not that popping up that much. All right. Your guess of Praxis is... That's right. That's right. Wow. Praxis returned two two. 11 videos, 11 videos. That's going to give you uh, 11 more points in this game. Hey, Mero, now Son you're, a you're a point leader. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, right. why don't you try one more time? Our current list includes Bernie, President, Democrat, Left, and Minecraft. Meryl, it's still your turn. All right. all right, this is where it gets tricky. Try Democrat. Let's get rid of Democrat. Your answer of Democrat is... 
Correctamundo. Correctamundo. Oh, yeah. 50 videos, including Big Cum Shot Cum Tribute for Hot Latina Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, oh and Democrats Fuck Each Other, and Kamala Harris Has Her Ass Gaped July. Oh, man. So, there we go. Ugh. All right. Uh, Meryl, it is still your turn. You're running away with this game. Oh. <laughs> Our remaining terms are Bernie, President, Left, and Minecraft. Bernie. Mm -hmm. Your answer of Bernie is... Ooh, 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 is... Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we have an error on screen. It's actually 73 videos for Bernie, including Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Byleth X Bernie. Uh, oh my God. The only instance I could find of the character from Fire Emblem, Bernadetta, <laughs> nicknamed Bernie. <laughs> Man, dude, he's a. Uh, 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 you're running the train. This is amazing. You're running a train on him. That's right. <laughs> I'm super Tuesday. Super Tuesday. <laughs> super Tuesdaying this game. I'm coming back from behind, all, coming back from the fourth. Brian, when you're running a train in politics, it's called a whistle stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to go all the way. I all think right. he's going to hit 538. <laughs> well, we only have uh, we only have three more terms left: president, left, and Minecraft. Merrill. President. President. Merrill says president. The answer of president is. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci, Gucci gang, gang, 628 Gucci videos. Gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> Look, man, we all have our own unique gifts. For some of us, oh. for some of us, it's remaining I, I gainfully we're, employed we're at Forbes. Now, right? <laughs> we're probably out of the game, Brian. If he, if he ran the entire table, then <laughs> it, we have just one shot to, to complete it. But He's got one last chance here. We still have two more terms. You can go for left or Minecraft. I want to point out that the score is like five to six to seven hundred and thirty-seven or seven hundred and seventy-seven. But it's it's a sliding scale, so this if he gets this wrong. The reason I knew the other ones, I I didn't think I was gonna rank them that well. But the reason I knew the other ones weren't like I knew these had to be the top two because politics were never gonna do more than left, like leaning left stuff and Minecraft, because as we learned from the other thing. So, mm. so Meryl, uh, I, I, as, as okay. Going left. Oh, okay. He's got. He's, Brian has offered some advice. No, 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 no. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. No. It, I'll commit to left. I'll commit to it. Your answer of left is. Well, let's see here. We've got the results here. Bum, bum, bum. Left returned 1,604 results. Minecraft returned. 2,187. <laughs> <laughs> he ran the train. He pulled a full whistle stop. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Meryl Barr. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> the full whistle stop. Standing belly clap. Choo-choo. There we go. Congratulations. Oh, my Meryl. God. Oh what my was the what God. was the final tally? Uh, so uh, uh, I, I, I mistakenly heard uh, left and thought that was Meryl's guess. But if that was also him, uh, it looks like it might be 2,377 for Meryl, four for Brian, and six for Justin. <laughs> well earned, sir. Uh, this close. Oh. This close. Hey, Justin, uh, uh, what number is going 2,467? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Look thank you that. for being thank part of democracy. Being... Oh my god. Uh yeah, no, I feel like fucking we're a couple Tulsis over here. Just fucking look it up. Look it up the skyscraper delicate. Uh, look, I coalesced the party around. <laughs> <laughs> Unity. Uh thank you to Joe who has sent in uh other games before. Uh but thank you for sending in some of the inspiration for the game. Yes, I did rewrite of a lot all of it. The things. Um <laughs> Uh, uh, if you have a game, a game idea, send it to mail, M-A-I-L, at nightattack.tv. That's an email address, uh, and we may play it or a version of it on the show. Thank you. Heck yeah. Uh, hey, man, you want to do a little bit of diving time? 
Oh, yeah, Brian. Diamond Time is where we shout out your projects right here on uh, the show. Just head on over to our subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. Sticky post at the top of the page is where you need to go. We begin with Darth Zombie, small business owner, business, zombie botanicals, specializing in bath bombs and soaps, great for self-care. I got a special charity bomb this month. 30% of the proceeds go to the National Women's Indigenous Resource Center, along with 10% of each pur purchase that also gets donated. YOLO420.com slash EA. And that is YOLO. 20.com slash EA like electronic arts all lowercase. Thank you, Dart Zombie, for writing a model diamond time post. Yeah, I like the part where we're able to read the URL. Uh, Dr. Big Love writes, last chance to donate to World's Greatest Shave for the Leukemia Foundation, and we're about to cross the funny bonus threshold uh, for mine. Uh, big thanks to Diamond Club who have already donated. That's YOLO420.com slash shave a bear. That's S-H-A-V-E-A-B-E-A-R. And Racer13424 says, I'm a humble priest of the good deity Donocles, good citizens of Diamond Club. Give some love to the Rage Masters at RageSelect.com. These great followers do the work of the Rage Masters playing the games that we all deserve. Learn about Loco Steve, Loretta, Plan Jeff, and so much more. Come see Jason, Brian, Bryce, and many others be awesome. RageSelect.com and Patreon.com slash RageSelect. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they meant Dongacles, D-O-N-G-A-Cles. But uh, not that I would know anything about it. I, I'm not. Uh, Rage Select what? Uh, that sounds like a liability trap. I would hate for anyone to dive in there and hear anything I've said on that podcast. Uh, meanwhile, folks, you can go ahead and get your posts in. Again, uh, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamond club dot reddit dot com uh man i'm starting i'm starting to fade i i i can hear my voice sort of beginning to get scraggly and rattly do you, you just want to go straight to checking out our mail sacks let's do that join us for drinks uh, yeah. in the diamond club in the diamond club mm, that sounds grand super grand this is the part of the show we read your emails to mail at night attack tv like this one from julio julio writes hi guys long time listener and patreon boss first time emailer i've been listening for several years uh and in several shows brian has given several suggestions on books to read in order to become a better boss business owner and entrepreneur as a newly minted entrepreneur i'd love to get several suggestions to read up on and increase my entrepreneur game thanks for the suggestion fuckos keep up the good work guys julio uh so if anybody has any suggestions for a, a new small business owner Maybe we'll start with Brian. I expect him. He's got a fount of knowledge. I, I, I do, but I have. I, I there are so many standards and so many well-established books. But uh, start with I, those because it sounds like he kind of doesn't know where to start. Um. Uh. uh, uh, uh give me a moment. Uh, okay. If if I got a list, I got to go through. Sure. Um. Let's see. Uh, Merrill or Justin? Any any anything that that pops to mind? Maybe. I mean, geez, if, if people are recommending books, that literally, the, my, my first thing, if, if you told me that I had to do this in the next five minutes, I would spend four minutes and 30 seconds calling Brian because there's nobody that has yeah. a, a better well, and, 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 that, and that's the thing. That. Well, maybe, maybe we could sort of kick this around. Like, I think that there are certain books that are good on marketing, um, uh, but but I don't know how many of them have aged terribly well. I, um, I would say something like, like, like you, you, uh, you and Andrew have, have often recommended, you know, like the, if we're talking classics, like, you know, how to win friends and influence people, uh, uh, richest man in Babylon. Like, like those are just, if you want a, a basic focus your mind, think about things in, in a, you know, buy for one, sell for two kind of way. Yeah. Uh, uh that's, that you, you could do worse than starting there. Let, let, let me give you uh, sort of the, the, the punk rock uh, answer is Quitter um, uh, by by J J James, a John Acuff, J James Acuff, I, I, I think it's John Acuff. Uh, 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 but basically it's about how many people love, they fall so in love with the dream of quitting their day job to do whatever it is they want that they don't bother to think about what a good gig their day job is and how their day job is essentially a patron that keeps them fed while they're able to use their additional time, energy, and effort, uh, uh, John Acuff, J-O-N, uh, to, to uh, invest in stuff. I, th I thought it was a really good kind of cautionary tale. Uh, when it comes to um, having what it takes to, to get through stuff, you can't beat uh, The Obstacle is the Way or Ego is the Enemy, both of which are by uh, Ryan Holiday. Um, uh, lately, when I'm thinking of like a good swift kick in the balls, 
Um, and this is a universal one. This is not for anyone who just wants to be an entrepreneur, but no matter how you're feeling, I'm pretty sure your life will be made better by reading Unfuck Yourself by Gary John Bishop or uh, the, the sequel, uh, uh, Stop Doing That Shit. Uh, I, I think that Unfuck Yourself may be the most transformative book I've read in the last 10 years. I love it quite, quite a bit. What's, what's the elevator pitch on Unfuck Yourself? Un, unfuck Yourself is whether you believe in self-talk or not, it happens. And your belief in it does not stop it from happening from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. So it's up to you to decide what that self-talk is saying about yourself. And uh, you could say, well, I mean, who am I to decide? The answer is you are you to decide. And he... Um, uh, he begins with uh, a clarifying exercise with, based around the, the phrase, uh, I am willing. And uh, this is something a lot of people, what, we have a hard time when we know there's a thing we want and we know that there's a desire that draws us in the opposite direction. And so we, we try to reconcile the two by coming to a conclusion. So for example, I know I want six pack abs, but I also know that I want that cupcake. And so we decide I must be a piece of shit because here I am eating that cupcake and I don't have what it takes to get the six pack abs. He says, that's the wrong question. Don't even start with that. Start with the question of, of I am willing. Look at that cupcake and say, I am willing to bypass that so I can have six pack abs or there's equal bliss on the other side of it, which is saying, I am not willing to give up my favorite foods just so I can have a slightly different physique than I have right now. And once you get to that, once you identify what you're not willing to do, there's uh, there's wonder and bliss on the other side. And listening to that made me realize, um, uh, am I willing to do what it takes to get a primetime national uh, television magic special? And I realized, well, what does it take to do that? Well, you got to write a, a ton of material. You got to have nine routines out of 10 be thrown in the garbage because they're not good enough. You have to take it on the road. You got to polish it. You got to subject yourself to all these people. You got to go to Hollywood. You got to do the pitches. You got to have a bunch of people jerk your chain and waste your time and all that stuff. And once I realized that I am not willing to do what it takes to get a national primetime national uh, uh, TV magic special, there truly was bliss on the other side of that. And, and, uh, that that's, that's just the beginning of, of all the treasures that await you on the other side of unfuck yourself. It's so good. Very cool. And of course, uh, check out after things, uh, the creativity podcast where we talk about being creative professionals and, and, I'm, and that sort of stuff. You might find something, uh, uh, good there. Weird things.com. It's in that feed. I'd like to add one thing to this, yeah. which is I, the thing is where I, you know, I, been do I've been pretty much a self-employed individual up until very recently, and sort of haven't, but and haven't lost the attitude of that, even though I'm now employed in some capacity um, by someone else. Um, uh, which, by it, the way, uh, the classic answer from uh, uh, old school su success guru uh, Brian Tracy would be: you remain the CEO of Merrill, comma Inc. Like you are mm -hmm. the one man CEO of a personal services corporation that happens to have one client, but you will almost certainly have multiple clients in the future. Yes. Um, and I will attest that the reason I'm employed now is because I'm chasing a dream that is making me very excited right now. But um, the thing you realize is, you know, every the books, the podcast, the the tweets and all that's great. And you'll it's a great starting point. You're going to discover there's. Every situation is unique, and what works for someone else may or may not work for you, and it's just going to take time more than anything to figure out what your modus operandi is, what your what your system, what works for you that makes you successful is not going to – you're not going to – ultimately, you're not going to find the answer in a book. It's a great way to, to start figuring out how to find the answer, but you're never going to find it completely by reading a book or listening to a podcast. All right, there you go. I uh, hope that helped, Julio. Uh, we also have one more uh, email here from Mike. Mike writes, hi, howdy, Brian, Justin, Bryce, uh, and Merrill, our guest. Uh, this is Mike, a.k.a. Vast Anomalies in the chat. I wanted to run through the quick six degrees of separation of how I got into BB Live show back in the day. We've been having people for a, a while now tell us their origin story of how, we, how they got here. 
Uh, and so here's Mike's. In high school, I used to read Electronic Gaming Monthly magazine, uh, the, the one that was made out of waxy paper. Uh, this was eventually picked up by one, OneUp.com, who created the OneUp podcast, which got me into podcasting in college. That eventually turned me on to Revision 3's content, like the Totally Rad Show, and a very entertaining project called Scam School. Being a new uh, adoptee to Twitter, I started following that Schwood dude, where there was no C, and he posted one day about a live stream on Justin.tv, so I was watching one random day and couldn't stop laughing. I fell in love with you guys, and I've been on the ride all the way through the NSFW show, a few Dragon Cons, the comedy albums, the Diamond Club, and now Night Attack and the Modern Rogue. Thank you for everything you've done over the past decade, plus to make each week a little more enjoyable. One of your oldest friends, Michael Cozart. Holy cow. Uh, thank you, thank for, you Mike. so very much for, for sharing that. That That is that is amazing. Uh, that uh, Number one, that uh, if I was to write down the kind of prototypical way that I would assume people would uh, arrive, I would write that down and instantly crumple it up and throw it away because, like, there's no way somebody was there at the beginning and stayed for this entire crazy journey and followed us on all of our side quests. Uh, Justin, I, I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel really, really good that, that the unicorns exist. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it's always uh, amazing to hear especially when there's like new projects or something like that. Like I got this a lot with raise the dead of a lot of people kind of coming out of the woodwork and being like, Oh, I've, you know, I've heard you since you were, you know, in, in your twenties. And I'm like, like, what, like, what the hell are you talking about? This is kind of crazy, but uh, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad that the vast emailed in and, and uh, I'm glad that we've been able to uh, hang out for so long. Uh, and, and and also more importantly, like I, I just want to encourage everybody keep those stories coming because I love the fact that people are coming in from all these different walks of life. I will say, so the, I came to the show from uh, everyone's mutual friends, Yarbrough Cargill, um, where I before I ever was friends with the guy and knew the guy and at one time produced his podcast, um, I was just a fan, and he would always, he would go on podcasts and I was a fan of, the, of the, you know the the wisdom he spouted in the first. And he one day tweeted he was going on this thing called NSFW. And uh, it happened to be the infamous um, Poker Face broadcast. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Wow. wow. If, you, if, you, if you're ever going to fall all the way into the show, that was a pretty good one to fall into. So, but, so I didn't – but I didn't I – didn't, I, didn't stick around off that. It was more just like I would – oh, whenever Cargill would come on, I would watch. Um, and then that turned into Night Attack, and he was appearing on Night Attack, and I got into Night Attack, and then eventually was like, let me start checking these guys out, and I started watching episodes, and on, but only off YouTube when they would post on YouTube. And then I discovered the after show and the uh, pre-show stuff on YouTube, and I started watching that, and I was like, let me let me try this out live. And I will say, we're now now after all that time, you guys are the only the only thing I consider appointment viewing anymore. I will make time on a wow. Tuesday night to watch the broadcast live because this is this is there's there is a joy in being in that chat with you guys and watching uh, what's going down. It's the only it's the only appointment programming I have anymore. And and there there is something to the electricity of it, and I I suppose that's part of the reason. I, Justin and I have talked about this. Like like the show's gone through multiple iterations. There's times that it feels like uh, you're just listening in on a phone call between two dudes getting caught up. There are times that uh, everything feels highly choreographed, like a, a, a you know a comedy show that that has one particular purpose. There's other times that that we've uh, I don't want to say play pretend that we've done our best to be a good. Uh, kind of tonight show experience. Um, and then there's other times that it's just like, turn on the camera and I dare you to turn off. We're just going to keep on going. Uh, so it makes me, it makes me really happy to, uh, to know that, that through those various iterations, it's become like the one thing that has remained constant is that uh, uh, you better be there. Otherwise it's not quite the same. Yeah. And, and that's the, you know, it's, it's kind of what, I, as much as I love podcasts, obviously, and I listen to so many of them and they are a different experience, nothing really, really, really replaces what live radio was to me in my, in my teens and twenties. Like, like that was electric. It was electric to be there. And, and from the very beginning of this, as many iterations as we've gone through, I feel like that's always been there for Brian and I is just like, like, all right, let's, let's keep making the thing that people 
feel like they're missing something if they're not there live. Like uh, that that all all the all, all the cool kids were pumped when the moment happened. And and that's that's so awesome to hear that that's you know for somebody in your position that that is it's that for you. That's rad. Speaking of yep. which, uh, man, is, is, is it time? Uh, the... uh, one last thing. Oh. Uh, uh, if you've got to send an email in, if you want to send in your story or any sort of question for the show, mail, M-A-I-L, at nightattack.tv. We'll read it here at the end of the show, which is what this is. Thank you. Uh, Meryl, what do you got to plug? Uh, Word Tetris, my po- my podcast on re- Hollywood rewriting, the Internet's number one masterclass in the <laughs> art of rewriting. Um, uh, if you So th- it was a it was a – podcast I did about rewriting with a bunch of Hollywood guests, um, guys like Sean Ryan, who created The Shield, Matt Nix, who created Burn Notice, John Rogers, who co-created Leverage, Chris Downey, who co-created Leverage, Aaron Korsh, who created Suits, and there's a whole litany of people, and we talk about screenwriting. It's a great resource if you're getting it. I consider it like it's not the beginner course, though it works for that. It goes a step beyond that, and this is like what happens after you learned how to actually write, how to start really refining your skill set. The show used to be a Patreon thing, and with you know, so the whole the entire archive is available now for fifty dollars at worktetris.com slash archive. However, um, because I love you guys and I'm here, if you go there right now for let's say till the end of this week, so let's call it Sunday night ish. Um, if you go there right now, you get twenty five percent off with the promo code NT at worktetris.com slash archive. And Brian, thank you for the um, rewriting of the sales pitch ah! of the podcast. <laughs> Uh, that sounds accurate. Uh, uh, hey, Justin, what did we learn this week? Oh, well, we, uh, we, we, we learned to wash our hands if you want to party in Austin. Goddamn right. Uh, we oh, learned that, no. uh, 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 that we're going to replace South by Southwest as the number one biggest music and comedy festival in all of Austin. We learned that Merrill Barr knows how to run a train. (laughs) (laughs) And most importantly, we learned that we will see you next Tuesday. Oh, who's the bit boss? The bit boss. Our bit boss with 3,000 bits is Tomadonna. Thank you, Tomadonna. Woo! Thank you, Tomadonna. We love you. Diana Fire. See you next Tuesday. I'm allergic to bees. Justin Robert Young Every time you go I get so sad That I wanna Drink a warm glass Of Drano Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack, Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>